Teaching a Fastload CX-1000 is quick and easy with Fanex drag and drop touchscreen interface. I'll show you the steps to create a simple drag and drop program. So at the beginning of the program, I like to set a few parameters to make sure everything's set up correctly. So I'm gonna use the user frame select and select the user frame that we had previously taught. Next, I'm going to select my tool frame and the tool frame selects the tool center point and coordinate system of your, your gripper. So I'm gonna make sure that's, yep, tool number one. And set the payload. So the payload is the weight that the robot is expecting at the end of joint six. So I'm gonna set that to payload one, which is my empty gripper. Now that those are set, um, it's good practice to start with a perch position. And now that that perch position is set, I'm going to teach that point using a joint command. So that teaches that point in space. Next, I wanna make sure that my grippers are open to the correct point. So I will grab a gripper move command in there and use the arrows to set an appropriate, go a little smaller maybe, so that I can Make sure it's open wide enough so that I can go down and, and uh, grip outside the part. So I'm gonna go into the correct position, hit save. That saves that point. Now let's teach an approach point. Above the part. So when, once I'm in the correct position, I drag a joint command in there. That teaches that point. And now I move the gripper. Want to make sure it's aligned properly so that it's going to pick the part. Get that lined up. And I'm going to use a linear move. So I drag a linear position in there that teaches that point so that it'll come in straight. And before I grip, I wanna change my payload. So I set that to payload two, which is um, the weight of the gripper with the part. And I also change the payload here for uh, the teaching. So now that the payload is set, I can use the grip command. And with these arrows, I can move the gripper in and out to actually grip on the part. And I'm actually gonna change this to an external pick because we're grabbing the outside of the part. Hit save, that saves that value. And now let's open it up and then hit play to test to make sure we got a good grip. That was a good pick, so that all sounds great. Now that the part is gripped, we can go in and move it to a retract position. And then I'll do a linear move to do that. We can set an intermediate point, do a joint move to get there. And now I'll go to the approach position for the drop point. I will use a joint move. Now move to the drop point, drag a linear move command in there. And now before I release the part, I'm gonna change the payload so that it's set to the empty gripper and also change the payload here for teaching. And now I'll put the gripper move command in. Open up that gripper, hit save. Saves that gripper value. And now teach the point to come out of there. Linear move. And I'll teach another point up here with a joint command. So now that all those points are taught, let's test the program. Change it from teach to auto the speed you want and hit run.